right, guys, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, I'm Lalo. I'm Lena. And we are L and L. So today we kind of woke up and Chico was vomiting, and he was being really weird. He's re being really like secluded, really quiet, and we think he might be sick because he's still continuing to throw up. Right now, he's his ears are up, so he's he's, he's a little bit more alert. Yeah, but um. Yeah, it was like around six, six in the morning, and it was like around six in the morning, and he was throwing up, but it wasn't like a lot. So then we ended up putting him back in his kennel, and he fell asleep, and then he woke up again, and he came to our room. He ends up just going underneath the bed because when he was little, that's what he would always do. He'd always go underneath the bed and just like go to sleep. So then he did that again and I was just like really concerned. The thing is he has all of his shots. He's good so I don't think it would be like, I mean the main thing that's coming to mind is that Parvo because of his throwing up. But I know that's not the only thing that's gonna cause him to throw up. And then he had like loosey goosey squirts last night and some this morning. But right now he pooped, it wasn't loosey goosey, it was a little bit more solid. But yeah, he's just like a little mellow. We sh Lalo showered him and he was acting like normal. Like after he showers, he always runs back and forth on the couch to dry himself. That's just like something he would always do. So he did that and he was like following us. And then a little bit later, like, he ended up throwing up again, so then that's when we're kind of like, okay, let's just take them to go find out what's going on. So, he looks a little, I mean, he looks okay, only his ears are up, like Lalo said, but he is still a little mellow. He's just chilling. It's always better to go and check anyways. Yeah, to be safe because if it is anything, at least we're gonna catch it as soon as possible, a lot sooner. So, so we're on our way to go see the event to find out what it is. We will see you guys when we get there. All right guys, so we're in here. Uh, he checked his weight, he's actually gained five pounds in a month. Um, doctors will be coming in here and checking him out here shortly. So we'll give you guys an update once we uh, find out what's going on. So we'll record what we can for you guys so you guys can See what's going on with him, my poor chico boy. He's a big boy. Yeah, big boy, huh? My babies. Oh, I do my babies. The baby yeah. boy, chico. <laughs> what the fuck, you? <laughs> Leave my fucking pants out. Dad bod. When I lose this pants, he has no chance. <laughs> Chico's like, shut up. Oh, I do my baby. Why would you slap my gun? <laughs> Titties? <laughs> you better stop. I don't mean. No, 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 no. You're lucky. I'll record you in your double chin. <laughs> While they're slapping your boobies and shit. <laughs> Gotten into the trash. He gets into it every day. Hopefully, that's naughty. It's just like paper towels and stuff, but he'll still eat the paper towel like it's weird. Oh, you're a naughty boy. He eats everything. Um, well, definitely acting nauseous today with all the, the drooling. Um, Andy vomited here, so we know that he is. Um, since we know we're missing a, a parvo vaccine, I would recommend doing a test first just to make sure um, that's the easiest thing to rule out. And then we can kind of go from there based on what that test shows. Okay. What do you think, buddy? Yeah. How long um, <laughs> would it take to get the test results? Right? It's about 10 minutes. Okay. okay. All right, right so. Yeah, come with me. We're going to borrow him Let's and go. we'll be right back. He's like saying that with people. So. Come on, little buddy. Let's go, baby. All right, so they tested him for parvo and he came back negative. So they're giving him, he went and took some x-rays and we're waiting on the results. I think it's good, they're just gonna give him a shot for his nausea. nausea. Or is it his, his nause, nauseousness? And nausea. for his diarrhea. <laughs> for his very, very Squirts. watery poops. 
Yeah, he's so the reason why he was drooling and like all the saliva was because he, yeah, he's feeling nauseous. So hopefully, when hopefully once he gets this medication, he feels a lot better. Cause I don't like to see him sick. I don't think he's ever been sick either. No. Besides one time. One time. But it was just because his, his stool samples were really loosey goosey at that yeah. point too. Yeah. So I get away trip. Okay, so this is him on the side. Sorry. Um, all of these bright objects are metallic or bony material that's in his stomach. His whole stomach is very full. Um, he's got a little bit of gas, but that being said, it's not, I wouldn't say that he's obstructed just right, everybody, yet. so we made it home. So you guys seen Chico's x-rays. Um, those little bright things in there, they're, they're like wires or like bones or something, so we don't really know and they didn't really explain uh, what it no, was. Specifically. But we're hoping he's uh, he's good for the next few days. If not, Monday we'll have to take him to get some surgery and get um, whatever that is taken out of his belly. So He'll only need surgery if it doesn't go through. Like if he doesn't poop it out, digest it, it out, or, yeah, or throw it up. digest it. Um, they're giving us today, tomorrow, or if we have to rush him to the ER, we will, but, and we're thinking he might, he might be good just because he's still a little mellow, but. He's done this before, so. He has done this before, but it wasn't to this extreme where he was like throwing up and throwing up. Well, before, throwing before up. he had bones one time and then he like threw up the whole bone, like literally he couldn't, he couldn't, um, digest it. So like he threw up two bones cause he had like two, ribs. They were they're ribs. ribs, they're ribs. So he, um, yeah, he threw them up because he wasn't able, to, his body wasn't able to break them down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, right now, he's just hanging out. He's chilling. They did give so, him a shot. Two uh, shots. He two got shots. two shots. He got one for nausea, and then one for vomiting. Well, for, for his for his hi to hydrate. Yeah. They he put hasn't, like liquids in his skin or something. Yeah, because he hasn't a he hasn't drink water. He still hasn't drink water. So we're just hoping he does little by little at his own. At his own pace, they did give him the shot and they gave us the medication. So we're gonna start the medication today. It just depends if, if he can keep food down. If he starts eating and drinking water, then, then we'll give him his do. medication. If not, then that means he's not to give him the medication. Yeah, he's not ready. So. Yeah. So we're just gonna let him chill out. We're gonna hang out and see how he does. Just let him relax because he probably didn't get enough sleep last night either. Yeah, but. Just wanted to update you guys, so I hope you guys are enjoying your guys' weekend. And we will see you guys, hopefully, on our next vlog. Hopefully Monday. Yeah, well, you hopefully. guys know how Chico does. So, we will see you guys on our next video. Bye, guys. Peace. No. To my babies. This is where they gave him the shot. You can kind of see it. It's a little lumpy, but that's normal. That's, yeah, it's going down like a lot. I actually did take a picture. I'll try to post it somewhere right here so you guys can see it. But um, it was ginormous, but it was normal. It's gonna be going down little by little. Where? Here they just put antibiotics. Oh. The oh. shots, he got two shots. One for his oh. um, for gotcha. pooping and then one for nauseous. Okay, that so these just are just, ah, uh, okay, okay, yeah. So that's why there's liquid, it's in his so skin. So that's why it's like a bump right now, but He's gonna be okay, huh, chico boy? He seems better already. Yeah, just compared to how he was this morning.